When people hear the name Taj Mahal, they usually think of love. But the Taj Mahal is more than a love story. It is also a story of loss, vision, planning, and years of hard work. This story begins in year 1631, when Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan lost his wife Mumtaz Mahal. Her death deeply affected him, and from this pain came a promise to build a monument so beautiful that the world would remember her forever. Shah Jahan personally chose the place. where the tomb would be built south of agra beside the yamuna river there was a calm and open piece of land at that time this land belonged to raja jay singh the first shah jahan liked this place because of the flowing river and the peaceful surroundings raja jay singh agreed to give the land to the emperor and in the year 1632 construction of taj mahal began shah jahan appointed ustad ahmed lahori as the chief architect of taj mahal He took inspiration from early great buildings. One inspiration came from Gore Amir in Samarkand, the tomb of Timur. From here came the idea of the Grand Central Dome. Another inspiration came from Humayun's tomb in Delhi. From this came the garden design and the eight-sided layout of the building. But the Taj Mahal was not a copy. It was a more refined and perfected version. of these ideas the taj mahal was built using brick and lime mortar as its core structure for the main monument pure white marble was used giving the taj mahal its soft glow and timeless beauty this white marble was brought all the way from makrana in rajasthan a region famous for producing some of the finest marble in the world in contrast red sandstone was used for the outer wall gateway and mosque This red sandstone came from Fatehpur Sikri and was commonly used in Mughal architecture adding strength and a rich color contrast to the complex other precious and semi precious stones were brought from many part of asia and more than 20000 workers from india persia central asia and even europe worked to build taj mahal since the taj mahal was built near the yamuna river timber wood was used in its foundation as timber becomes stronger in humid conditions which made it suitable for river bed soil before the tomb could rise the ground had to be prepared and for this a huge platform was built beside the river this platform was 300 meter long and almost 9 meters high it protected the building from floods and from weak river soil only after this a strong base was ready the construction of main tomb began at the center of the complex stands the mausoleum It is made of the white marble and sits on a square base. Each side of the building is equal. Every line is balanced, and this perfect symmetry is what gives the Taj Mahal its calm and peaceful beauty. The most important feature of Taj Mahal is its great marble dome. The dome is 23 meters high. It sits on a tall circular base and rises like the sky above the tomb. This dome represents heaven. Directly below it rests Mumtaz Mahal. Four tall minarets stands around the tomb. Each minaret is more than 40 meters tall. They are slightly tilted outwards. This was done on purpose that if a minaret ever fall, it would fall away from the main tomb. This shows how carefully the Taj Mahal was designed. Beauty and safety together. Inside the Taj Mahal is a quiet and peaceful space. The inner room has eight sides with arcs on two levels. Inside are the marble tomb of Mumtaz Mahal and Shah Jahan the real graves are below hidden from view the decorations inside are made of calligraphy flowers and geometric patterns there are no human figures as per the islamic tradition the main complex is surrounded by a large mughal garden the garden is divided into four equal parts with water channels and walkways the design is called char bagh it represents paradise as the taj mahal was meant to look like heaven on earth The construction of the main tomb was completed in 1648 after nearly 16 years of careful planning and skill craftsmanship. However, the work did not stop there. The surrounding buildings, gardens, gateways and finishing details continued for several more years. By 1653, the entire Taj Mahal complex was finally completed, standing exactly as we see it today. The cost at the time was estimated at around 32 million dollars. In today's value, this would be roughly 60 billion dollars. 
but the real value of Taj Mahal cannot be measured in money. As the Taj Mahal is not just a stone and marble, it is grief turned into beauty. It is love shaped by skill and patience. And even after more than 400 years later, its calm, silence and timeless beauty tells us a story written in marble and a promise that still stands.